What is going on amigos? I'm Vril Sumber here coming at you with a brand new video and we're gonna kick it off with a free chest opening. <laughs> Let's see if we can get uh, lucky real quick. Okay, we got a mini P.E.K.K.A. and an Ice Spirit. Alright, cool. If I sound tired, it's because I just got off of work and I needed to record this now, otherwise later I'm not gonna have time because I gotta go to the gym. But uh, we're doing a classic challenge, and I'm up to one win. The last one that I did, I got up to nine wins, and then I lost. And uh, it was pretty fun, though. I'm starting to like these a lot more now. But check this out. I got second place in the tournament that Tillman hosted. Kingslayer came in first, and it was by accident. <laughs> he said he was, like, not paying attention to the score, and that somebody had like 200 trophies when he started playing. So he was just playing to try to see where he could end up. And he ended up winning it. That's crazy. But let's see how many uh, how many good cards I get in my chest. 1,200 cards. Let's go. 19. Holy crap. 19. That, that's the thing. Last time I only had like four. And it was like a bunch of something. I can't remember what. But 8,400 gold. We got three mini P.E.K.K.A.s, four rockets, five fireballs, seven Valks, 54 Zap, eight Musk, 63 Teslas, 65 million, 70 Arrows, 73 Fire Spirits, Skeletons, one giant skeleton. I can now get it to level four. Not going to do it, though. Oh, we got an Expo. I don't care. <laughs> And some more fire spirits. Uh, some more mortars. Ooh, three witches. I need to use her more. I, th I think she's pretty good and I don't use her as much as I need to. And we got a level 7 mega minion. I have not been using him as much as I should be. But, um, but uh, what's it called? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I unlocked the Sparky. I got lucky. I got him in the special pack. And I got him in the magical chest. And then I got the wizard. I bought him from here. And he's in my shop again. But let's get into today's video. Which I wanted it to be watching noobs play. Because it's one of the funniest things about this game is just watching people make, I mean, you know, their first mistakes. And here we have some noobs that all have level 1 cards. So, uh... We're going to just pick a random one that I can pronounce names and then see how they do against each other. Uh, let's go right here. Unknown271. No, 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 no. Right here. ASL and Juan YouTube. So he's got a YouTube channel. I got a YouTube channel. We're going to put Juan YouTube on my channel. <laughs> okay, he's respectful. Look at that. He starts off with a good luck. All right. And the other guy... ASL said, screw that, I don't have good manners. Alright, oh, here we go. ASL kicks it off with Goblins and a Valkyrie. And then, was there a Musketeer? Who was that? I can't even tell. I didn't even know who put that. Okay, and then there's another... I don't know what just happened, but... Anyways, he got some hits off on Juan YouTube. And now, oh, what? ASL! Coming in hot. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up a second. He's a level 5 against a level 1 using Giant Loon. This guy is not a noob. He knows what he's doing. What the hell? He must be one of those that just go back to, like, the Goblin Arena just to troll around with him. Because look at that. He's already going to take out his power. 310 more points. But Juan YouTube's not giving up. He's bringing in this Prince. And AS, yeah, you can tell ASL is just trolling. I mean, he's just letting his elixir, like, build up. He's not doing anything. He can, like, take out that tower, I'm pretty sure, with his fireball if he wanted. I think he's going to let Juan think he can win, and then he's going to end his whole career with that fireball. Here, watch it. Watch it right here. He's going to wait. I bet you anything he's going to wait. Or maybe he's going to let him win. I don't know. No, oh, I guess he let him win. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, ASL's definitely trolling. He's trying to go lower in cups. Well, that was not what I expected to see. I want to see some noobs play, 
Here we go. Let's see here. Let's see Luis and Santiago. All right, let's watch these noobs. Level four and a level one. Eh, I guess it kind of maybe noobs. We'll see here. Luis kicks it off with a giant level two giant, and then Santiago got a better push coming in with a bomber behind the level three giant. Okay, let's see here. Who's going to make a move? Who's going to make a move? There goes Santiago's fireball to the tower. And Luis is going to return the fireball. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it looks like Santiago has taken the upper hand and taken one of the towers. But Luis is going to use... What the fuck is that? <laughs> Arrows. <laughs> I knew it. That's what I was expecting. That's what I want to see. Arrows on a tower for no reason. Okay, but it looks like Luis is going to get that tower with his knight and his spear goblins. Okay, so now this game is all tied up. These may be noobs. That guy is level 4, but if you're going to throw arrows at a tower, you are a level 8 noob. <laughs> okay, so they're both just chucking their giants and hopefully they can get to them. It looks like Santiago's giant may be able to finish that tower off. He's at full health. But Luis has a bunch of skeletons on that tower. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Oh! <laughs> 10 points. 10 points. What the crap? That, that was intense. I literally did not think that those skeletons were going to actually beat him in time. That was awesome. All right. We're going to give Thunder Magnet some minions. And then for the last... Uh, clip I wanted to show you uh, where where do I go where do I go oh yeah recent this was from the tournament and this was the match that got me to second place I think I was in third and then I battled one more time and if you can see right here rainy night has 80 cups and I have 143 so if he would have beat me he probably would have taken like 40 cups, 30 cups, um, and then I don't know what place I would have ended up in, but definitely not second. But this game was intense. It was the last game that I played in the tournament, and I was not going to lie. I was kind of freaking out. It was rainy night. He's really good. So, And then he uses a furnace. Freaking furnaces piss me off, man. I don't know what like I don't know what it is about them. It's just those those freaking spear goblins. And look at him. He was using his lightning so well in this freaking game. So right there, he took out my princess and my pump. So I said, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my giant and sparky push. And this is the deck that I used in this uh, tournament, and I kind of liked it. It's um. It's pretty, it's pretty fun to use. I feel that it's overpowered, and um, but it works. I did kind of, I did kind of feel like, um, like kind of like an asshole though, <laughs> because Sparky just wrecks stuff, man. Like it's not even fair. Look at this. The tower's already down to 700. Sparky's gonna be able to take it out before he dies, or she, or it, whatever Sparky is. So I get a tower pretty quick, pretty quick in this game. The Ice Wizard is going to go in there and get some chip damage on his King Tower. He puts down a pump, so I pump up as well. And now we just wait. So he has an Ice Wizard 2 and a Giant. And I, I think I put, my, yeah, I put my Giant on the right side because I said I'm going for the 3 crown. But right here I had to do something to defend, otherwise he was going to take out that tower. Do I not defend? I guess I don't defend. Uh, nope, I guess I don't defend. I just lay him. Okay, there we go. Fireball to try and do a little bit of defense and Princess to maybe chip away at that Ice Wizard to take it out. No, it looks like he's going to take her out. But my push is already going strong on the right side. I got a mini P.E.K.K.A., a giant. Ice Wizard and Sparky. And Sparky, yes, he's going to get one hit. He throws a lightning on my Sparky. Is he going to get one more hit? No, it did not. So we took out my Ice Wizard right there. And then I'm right back at it again with the giant Sparky. He's going to throw a Musketeer on the right side too. And his Ice Wizard. And I throw another Princess. 
And I'm pretty sure I throw down the Ice Wizard if I don't. Okay, there we go. There he is. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure I Fireball. Yes, Fireball all of that. He throws down his Furnace. But my push is going hard. And there's the Lightning again. And I think his Lumberjack. Yeah, Lumberjack takes it out. That was a very good, very good Lightning spell. His Lumberjack is coming in. He throws a Giant. So now... It's kind of getting scary because he's shutting down on my pushes. And I don't really have much to shut down his with. But right here, I throw down the Ice Wizard right there. But his Musketeer kills it. So I put the Mini Pekka to smack her and put her in her place. My Giant made it all the way to the top. And now my push begins again. He throws in a Lumberjack to try and chip away the rest of that damage and he almost does and he throws the lightning to get 99 on my tower and we both say wow and that was awesome i ended up winning it and i think i deserved it i don't know it was really fun though that, that game was really fun really intense i literally thought he was gonna beat me when that lightning came down but uh as you can see we won it and i'm currently at 32-24, and my all-time high is 32-39. So I'm only a few trophies, probably a couple games away from getting a new record. But we're going to have to see later how that how that is. And yes, oh, let's switch back to my other, this one right here. Otherwise, I don't want to go into a game and play that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,